And you're young, so you're responding to that. And once you get older, if you don't go back in and clean that stuff up, you carry that negativity around with you and it pollutes yourself. Develop your mind. So you got your physical, you got your mental, uh, your emotional, and you got your mental. Develop your mind to the study of higher knowledge. Now the way through truth is perception. Do you perceive things or do you just walk through life? You know, I'm walking through here, I don't even, I don't, I don't even perceive what, what's here. Something on the floor, I just like, I don't perceive this thing. <laughs> you know. So are you perceptive? You know, do you, or do you condition yourself to not be perceptive? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to deal with things. If I don't see that on the floor, I ain't got to pick it up. You know, if I don't notice my clothes is dirty, I ain't got to go clean them. If I don't see them dishes over there, I don't have to do anything about it, you know. So I, I train myself not to pay attention to it. You know, I see somebody with a heavy load, if I perceive it, I, I, I need to go try to help them. But if I don't act like I see it, then I don't have to go do it. You know, and then there's other things that keep that evolves up in terms of life, you know, in terms of, I know I shouldn't do that, but I'm going to act like I didn't perceive that, so I'm going to do it. Mm. So then examination, because when you perceive, then you should examine. So what, do you examine things? That's why, I, again, I go back to, I was talking to Eric, I'm trying to examine what she's eating. I said, examine that package. Look at that. What's in there? Do you know, do you perceive and examine? Just examine. <laughs> then she started examining, like, wow. Next is reflect on it. Do you see how I start thinking about it now? I examined it. Now let me think about what I have examined. So when you start reflecting, that takes you to knowledge. A lot of people perceive things, a lot of people examine things, but a lot of people don't reflect. Because once you start reflecting, you might have to make some kind of come to some conclusions here. So when you come to knowledge, then you go to understanding. From understanding, you gain wisdom, and from wisdom, you arrive at truth. The midpoint between ignorance, the lower, and the higher is knowledge. And understand, the age of Aquarius is the age of knowledge. This process is a process that has to become a universal process. And this is something that the society does not promote. They don't get you to perceive and examine things, because if you did, then you would reflect on them and say, wait a minute, this is crazy. And, it wouldn't, and if I understand that, then it wouldn't be wise for me to do that, because it's violating the truth. Then become a deep thinker. Do you think deep? A lot of people don't want to think deep. <laughs> you know, it's, it's so much junk in their mind to start thinking deep, they get, you know, it creates, you know, it's like hard. <laughs> so they run from it. But you got to fight. <laughs> Study the sacred and esoteric sciences. <clears throat> this is kind of what we're going through now. Understand, we're talking about astrology, astronomy and astrology. We're saying inside astronomy, there's a heart in that activity that's the essence of something that gives you meaning. So start understanding that. We can get into number, because we talked about what unity was one. We talked about the separation was two. We talked about the new activity, which is a reconciliation, which is three. We talk about manifestation, which is a four. We talk about thinking of mind, which is a five. Then we talk about a level of value, so which is a six. Then we talked about moving to a level of perfection or higher consciousness, which is a seven. Then we talk about moving through transformation, regeneration, which is an eight. Then we talk about spiritual awareness, which is a nine. Then we talked about reuniting with unity or God, which is a 10, which is a one. That's number. Then you get into geometry, we talk about patterns, right? And these different 90 degrees, 180 degrees, that's geometry. Then we're talking about the harmony or disharmony, which is music. And then we talked about astronomy, celestial patterns. We're talking about mythology and symbolism, which is rhetoric. Then goes into language and the meaning of those things. And then we go into logic, cosmic logic. These are the sacred sciences. And then regular meditation and contemplation. This is probably the essential thing, one of the key essential things that everyone should practice in some form or fashion. You can just take quiet walks. You know, you don't have to go, ideally though, if you, you need to practice, and you can do it anywhere. You can be in your car, and you can just go in. You know, you can be 
wherever. You can, if you practice it, you can go into it at any point in time and tune in to your spiritual self.